It's day 25. I am the DIY foreman on the 40 day challenge, 15 days to go. We'll see what we can get done. It was not my intention to be the guy painting this frame. Um, this is Rip's tea. Uh, it's, we picked out the color on the last uh, DIY episode. It's a blue, kind of a dark blue solid color. I did a little bit of the body work. I really didn't come in this weekend. I did come in last night to go into the glass shop and they work a third shift over there starting on Sunday nights. I helped them a little bit, came over here and finished up what I was doing. So I go around the motor marks. I like to clean. I like to clean around the front where you're gonna see it. Around the front here, I've got it rounded and clean. This will get a cover on it. The wells in the back, I mean, you won't see them. Uh, even the wells around the, uh, the steering box here, I, I clean up this one because it's right there in your face, but the rest of it, it's, it's a clean well. So the well will be, well will be fine to look at that. And that's where the steering box goes. So it uh, looks like I'm the guy painting this one. So I'm getting ready to prime it. Uh, try to have this thing in paint today. Uh, come in this morning, all the boys are working. I'll give you updates on everybody and what they're doing. So I'm gonna put some primer on this thing. So we're gonna get Daryl live and in person here. So let's go into Barron County. We're leaving yeah. Batman. Yeah. You're not Grumpy Santa, you're Batman. Who's Robin? Robin's in another He's state. in another world. Yeah. So we're putting uh I gotta go to Barron County, the OTC, the tech school there. But I gotta do a bunch of things other than that, going up north to Louisville or to uh, Evansville and then Chicago, so I don't wanna take a trailer with me. And U-Haul doesn't have a trailer big enough to haul the frame in parts. A box trailer. A box trailer but they do have car a car hauler trailer so guess what we're gonna put it all together in the next couple days or today actually all right I like a couple days the next couple days okay so you put the trans on what, what do we need to know about hooking a motor and a uh, well together? I put the I put the flywheel on I got all the bolts in there torqued down plus I got uh, Loctite on there yep. okay We've got Eddie come over and help me. We finally we had to stand the transmission up on its end down there, but we've got the torque converter set in there all the way seated where it's supposed to be. Make sure you put fluid in the torque converter. Yeah, and I've just got to put, find some bolts to bolt it into the motor and some uh, bolts and for torque, uh, put it onto the flywheel. Take special bolts for the flywheel yeah, it'll be into the hardened, torque converter. Yeah, they'll be hardened bolts. Do we have those, those uh, short ones, the flat do. ones? Yeah. Uh, got to have the right flywheel. Yeah, well, it's a flywheel that came with the motors. Oh, there we go. So, so we can't can't miss on this one. Can't miss. All right, so there we go. We'll put this together. Yep. I think we'll go check on Eddie, see what he's doing. He's over there. Before we do, we're going to... I put a video up of uh, the Midas Touch, and I hadn't heard back from Robin about using those fenders and those size wheels and tires. Those fenders look good. It works on the front. The back one will not work. It's a 10 inch wide. I mean, we can make it work, but it doesn't look right. So the only one I have is that one. But what I can do, that's the same one, is take about that much out of here and make it work. If I did that, that'd be good too. Then I can make a mold out of it. So we have that size, we have this size, and then we'll have one in between those. So need to make a call on that one. Here we got the car with no name. This is Bill's car. It looks like you're doing brakes. Got them all done. Uh oh, no, that's, going, that's going backwards. It's going backwards. Are you putting the overflow tank on now or? No. Somebody didn't tighten the brake line. The only way I can get to them. That's why we got you on the job. <laughs> yeah, I, you had a call down like how many people? <laughs> so it's, it's you and me I guess and then so. it takes yeah. a, such a focus on doing a turnkey like this that it, yeah. it's down to you because i'm bopping around everywhere yeah it was just like a ping pong ball <laughs> anyway uh, i thought i'd check all lines before i start break before we break oh yeah 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 I got yeah. to these and guess what so that is critical yeah check all the lines beforehand yeah got, got all the lines on that's yeah, all the lines are on. They've got these down set of those. Go back and get to it. Plug wires are on. Uh, it's, it's kind of around the corner. 
Yeah, so we yeah, do have it all. Good. It was all hooked up, but yeah. So we should have brakes here pretty soon, then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> well, very good. It's all new, but sometimes it still got two leaks. You know? Yeah. But that one, that one would have been a major one. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's stopping issues. So check, check your line, check all that before you put the brake fluid in, and it's best to just make sure when you put it on just be done leaving stuff finger type doesn't work uh, I, said I loaded some stuff in but he says a couple pieces were still missing so, so. this is bill and he's picking up his uh, kit and he's doing it the right way he came down to the spirit building got his frame and everything and i sent him away with the rear end he went up to trinity to get the rest of the parts and he's like hey where's the rest of it so he's inventorying it all here and i forgot to give him this little pallet's worth This is the way what we can do is I'll pull those uh, rods back out of the truck. We'll double check those because okay. you let me know for sure which ones I do and don't have. Because he did tell me there was something wasn't here. Well, this is a good DIY. So when you get your kit, first thing you need to do is do this. Because if you, if you it came in a shipping company and you don't file a claim right then and there for damage or missing parts, they will not pay it. So while he does that, We'll just talk a little bit, and then I want to get a little bit of your story before you leave, if that's all right. All righty. Good. You see what I mean? I got to add a little bit right so th here. This is going to be a risky video. Oh, I had gosh. to come to the booth because I was hearing noises. We'll just call them noises coming out of here. <laughs> so Ed is lining up Daniel's car, the yep. final lining up of the hood. Yeah. Yeah. Which is not fun. No, but we're getting it. It's looking good. It, we're it getting is. A nice the stuff. gaps are looking good. Yeah. And these are, they just never line up for real. They're I tough. mean, on original cars. They, on original cars, they is, don't either. This is much, if not more work. So we are real close to taking this body off and going for paint. Yes. Am I, am I realistic expect, to expect paint by this week? Uh, I would think uh, tomorrow I'll have this uh, hood off and the grill show off and we'll be primer in the body. Uh, and that's tomorrow two, or the that's next Tuesday. Day. Yeah. And your doors are ready. This uh, is they're close. They're not wet sanded into 400, but they are primer. Okay, yeah. well, I'm going to push you out here because I'm going to, I want to paint a frame in here for, I for rips, rips tea. Well, not rip tea, rips tea. Okay. <laughs> I'll take your word for that. Okay. Uh, but uh, it should be out of the booth tomorrow for you. And we'll get it uh, turned over to no, do the bottom. No, it's going to be out of the booth today. I'm painting it tonight. Oh, are you? It's well, we, on we, wheels. It's on wheels. We can push it out. All right. So that wasn't too bad. I didn't hear any any extra curricular noises coming out. <laughs> well, you'll hear that with me sometimes. It's uh, I'm on the other side of the building, and I heard it. We all like, <laughs> what happened in there? I had to come see. My apologies. Oh, okay. <laughs> we were all offended and horribly. All right. All right. I got motivated somehow. Yeah, we are. You got here and got excited. You haven't been here for so long. You've been no. working at home. Yeah, it's nice. It's like a nice break. So you said you were going to prime it tomorrow, but no. If you you we, told me you were going to do it today, now. Well, we did good. We we added about an eighth of an inch down here, up to the corner, to about zero to close that gap just a little bit, and we did the same thing on the other side. We adjusted our grill shell and got that gap right. So here we are, we're ready to uh, get our last coat of primer on for paint. So the good news is we're gonna get, for Daniel, we're gonna get primer on this. Yes. The bad news for, news for Rip and Rip's tea, you're hanging onto the booth for one night. Uh oh, we No, can that, that's it. fine, I'll paint that in the morning. You get this primer, we'll put it out, I'll pull it in the morning, I'll get it sanded in the other booth. Okay. And that'll, yeah. that'll work fine. Uh, well good, so you're moving ahead. Yes. And we do see the compressor went on. Yeah. You said people were saying nobody's ever uh, working in joking. the back. That's because there's hardly anybody here. But it, It's always quiet on the set. So yeah, I thought I it was funny you never hear a sander or a cutoff wheel or anything on your videos. I got to tell everybody, shut up. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. We're going the right direction again. Yeah. I think. Got it back together. We have brakes? We got brakes. Do they leak? Nope. Really? Not now. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> 
And we got pedal? We got pedal. We got pedal. So back on. Oh, I'm, I don't know if it's on the... No drips underneath, so we're good. <laughs> no runs, no drips, no airs. Oh, that's my job next. I'm going to paint one. Oh, okay. So I don't know if it gets one of these or not. I'm not sure. But we're going to give it one because it's just... Okay. Throw, here, yeah. Open that up real quick. We have a spring perch cover. And they get put on with double-sided tape there yeah. and it works really well actually sticks on there yeah, a 3M -sided tape. It yep real good. And it goes right on look at that so we have it that it's way we have it in chrome <laughs> yeah and we get a, get a good picture of it. oh there you go i can see the picture in there <laughs> yeah so i don't know if it gets that or not but i'm throwing that on there it, it definitely makes it look better yeah, it uh yeah how far away from starting are we? Got a good oil filter adapter. We got the nice, pretty chrome oil filter. Yeah, yeah, I got found one of these. You can put a chrome, a real chrome one on, not a chrome cover one. That da adapters should be here any moment. Okay. There's a couple pallets of stuff I'm just waiting on. Yeah. But once they get here. Now they run this motor, it's already got oil in it. So okay. I don't, I don't know what happened to it. That's so I'm kind of seeing the hole here. I'm guessing that we got electric, electric, yeah, electric fuel pump. Fuel pump. Yeah. I'll okay. see if I got a cover for that. I think we may have a cover up there. It'll look better than that. It would look better yeah. than a hole in the side of it. Yeah, we have lighting. We have actually lights. Yeah. So we have power. That means the battery must be in there. Yeah. And then we got fuel level and bolts working. Of course, can't tell nothing about that until we fired up uh -huh. temperature and oil. But yeah. Very good. Moving right along. Gas tanks in. Uh, oh, I look for some tail lights. These get uh, the cat eyes, and they're they're coming. They're not here. Oh, okay. I got one. Yeah. I suppose you can put one in, but right. let's just get yeah. them both. The way you can't see it, but we got a full pedal brake. Good. Yeah. I've got to get a. Oh, we took the the extensions off out of the box brand new and they were dull as can be uh -huh, we're going to get them all buffed out i started to put them on there and they was ugly so i did i took them good. over there yeah. um I, I buffed them put them on the buff wheel okay they actually come out pretty nice they, so they good. i gotta buff them not that i want to buff them but yeah i'll finish finish buffing them and they, they didn't quite match that <laughs> not, they not even nice. in the, it was kind of a dull silver yeah we're moving right along okay and the headlights as soon as that them pallets get here, the headlights yeah. will be here. Yeah, the headlight stands and all that. You got them wired. You got them wired. We yeah. run the wire for the headlights down through the frame. So they just ain't a bunch of wires. Come right up there, that will go into the headlights. Yeah, that'll be your... your into park. the headlight stanchion. You park in high and low beam, and then you ground it inside the, the headlight. Ah, oil cap, PVC, PCV, whatever. PCV, PCV. Ground, PCV. one of those. We've got alternators all wired so we're all yeah it's pretty much terminated yeah, around need a, need a belt get a belt need okay a belt on there. i've been gotta to get the, an outlet for the tire brakes yeah. i've been to o'reilly about five times today yeah you get that belt yeah get the hose is all made for it i tighten them up all right i want to hear it go zoom zoom oh, yeah me too it's already broke in so we don't need to break it in right and we're, we're looking for tires now. Josh is looking for some cheap tires. So. Oh, is he? Okay. And we'll get her done. Yeah. All right, and it's time for you to go home. Yeah, almost. Ed commandeered my booth. He's going to prime that uh, Daniel's car. Oh, yeah. That's a Dan. Okay. Then yeah. uh, Rip's T. I was going to paint that tonight. I might, I think I've compromised. We're going to get his out of there, and I may come back later and do that. Which one? Uh, the blue one. It's it's a kit that we're just assembling. Oh right, okay. okay. All right, so good job. I like it. You ready to move on to the uh, blown, the black blown <laughs> well, key? I got a few more things to do here. Till I wait for parts. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's, yeah. Oh there. Is that the one I buffed? No, not the one you buffed. No. Here's what we started out with. Yeah, you can <laughs> see they're not the same. All right, so we're gonna shine them up. Yeah, as soon as you're done here, we'll move over to the 
the blown tea, yeah, the black, black blown yeah. tea. And this here's Bill's car with no name. Well, Ed's doing his thing. We're getting some primer on. Looking good. I'm losing the booth for right now, but I'll get it later on tonight. I can move that car out. And uh, Daniel moving ahead. That's the final coat of primer on there. And he was hedging, but I really expect to have some green paint on there this week. And that will be pretty exciting because this chassis is all dusty and dirty. It's been sitting here for so long and it's ready for a green car. So it looks like Brian has converted the uh, the door for this 32.5 window into a workbench toolbox. Yeah. Combination workbench toolbox. Uh, Model A is a little different than the 32.5 window. You can see this window channel kind of rounds around the top. The window has to go into the door, turn, kind of go into it that way where the Model A just drops down, going into the top. So, Model A, you're working on... I'm working on this there's little the Model A. right here. Now you're putting the door handles in, right? Getting ready to put the door handles in, yep. The door handles are next. I think we showed all that a couple weeks ago, a bunch of times. Yep. So anyway, that's what you're working on. But the sedans are a little different than the regular Model A's because the doors are a little longer. Yep, so we got sedan. We got a five window, we got a, another sedan, we got another five window, we got a five window A coupe, five window, and there's that 32 Roadster. I'm actually going to work on that here at some point, but not, not soon. Right now I got Rip CD to work on. Looks like Don's been working on a, a 23, so we put the inner door in first and get the latches and the, and the hinges, then we, uh, There'll be wood bonded in all that, and the outer door skin goes on top of that. So. Everybody's gone. Locking her down. All them cars are finished cars. A year and a half or so ago, they were all like cars everywhere you couldn't move. They were built the wrong way and unfinished. That's a finished car. This is a, actually a prototype of a widened uh, sedan, Model A. I actually brought it up here thinking about maybe working on it someday. That was a project that was just not even thought about. Cars in the body shop, but it's time to lock it up. I'm gonna go home, eat some dinner, and come back and hang with Eric for a little while in the, in the glass shop and see what we can get done back there. Hopefully we get Baron OTC on his frame tomorrow, ready to, to ship out. I'm going to take that over there Wednesday and speak to the class in uh, Kentucky and then I'm gonna, on Thursday. I'll be speaking to a class in uh, uh, Louisville, um, somewhere, Evansville on Friday. So, good night, spirit. Hello, composites. <laughs>